Terry and D-Lab. I'm working on a little Lentine model 242 6 meter AM transmitter. Came to the shop not transmitting. So we're going to do the bare minimum to get it working again. Here we go. Alright, first let's give her a cosmetic sweep. Front panel looks excellent. There it is. The Latine 242. Let's take a look at the chassis. Looks 100% original. What's really cool about this thing, you got a 6146 modulated by a set of 6V6s, and that's plate modulation. So this thing can be a real honker on 6 meters. So over here, got the power supply section, 5U4, choke, main power transformer, 6146 output tube, couple oscillators down there. On this side is your modulation section, okay? So you get your preamp tube, which drives a 6V6, which drives a pair of 6V6s for plate modulation via that output transformer right there. There's your meter, and here's your output tuning section. So here's the bottom of the transmitter. You can see right down here, got a cap that's extremely gooey. You've got to change him out, and that's right in the oscillator, which isn't working on the transmitter. And over here, we've got some arc welding. Somebody put some electrical tape in there, so I'm going to fix that too. So I changed out the cap here, fixed this arky sparky situation. Then I measured the carrier switch, it's a double pole switch, and I noticed it is open. So that's probably why it's not transmitting. So I'm going to change out the switch. All right, so now the transmitter is transmitting with the new switch. However, metering is not working. You guessed it, another bad switch. So here I am. You can see the meter's wide open. So we're going to change the meter switch next. Well, that seemed to do the trick. So if I go to grid, I have grid current now. Got some output there. Go over to plate. And dip it. Watch my output here. Get some pretty massive output out of this guy. And here's the audio. You hear it. It's got audio. But not good audio. You're all that garbage. Lovely. Needs more work. So now let's take a look at the plate modulation circuit. So I think I know what our problem is. I'm going from ground to the input to this pot, okay, with my meter. You can see there's nothing there, right? Now I'm going to flip the transmit switch. Now I've got 173 volts there. I bet you that black beauty cap is bad. Let's change it out. All right, so I changed out that black beauty with a spray. And I went ahead and rebuilt the audio section because one of these 470Ks was out of tolerance. It was about at a meg. So I changed them guys out. There's this other cap in there while I was at it. Let's retest. Changing the caps there didn't really seem to make much of an improvement. The radio still has terrible modulation. And I'm also watching this plate current creep. So I think the best thing to do at this point is to change out all the filter caps. Let's make this thing clean and we'll go from there. For the fun of it, let's take a look at just the audio section. So I pulled the crystal out and I'm going to key this thing and we can look at the audio in this case right off the first preamp tube. Right? So I'm going to turn it on. There's my applied voltage. You can see it nose dived to about 93 volts. And according to the manual that I have, it should be about 150. Now let's look at the scope. You can see it starts out well, and then the sine wave collapses. Another sign of bad filter caps. So it's time to change them out. There's also another resistor here floating in midair. I have to eliminate that. So the idea is, is to install a terminal board here and then rewire these things and put in a new filter cap for the modulator section. One thing I noticed I wanted to point out, you see this rubber grommet? Well, this lead came out of that rubber grommet and had a piece of electrical tape on it. Well, I followed that 
Then he goes right to the, say, five, 600 volts plate voltage. It's, it's tied right to the filter cap. I don't know what somebody was doing, but there was high voltage sitting here with a piece of electrical tape ready for somebody to get bit. So that's all coming out. All right, here we are bottom side with the completed repairs. I already showed you the audio section that was complete. I had to repair this lead and the output transformer. It was actually arcing and was not making a good connection. That's what was killing the modulation. I added this terminal board here for the power supply. And we have all fresh electrolytics in it. So now, let's give her a test. So I've got the little Latine 242 6 meter transmitter running. A couple problems. Number one, those filter caps, and I've changed all those. And then the modulation issue I found was a bad connection on one side of the output transformer going to one of the 6v6s. There was a big black mark, and I was able to grab a lead and it fell right off. So I resoldered that and the modulation sprang to life. So here we are on the air. I have a National 183D receiver that we're receiving in on six meters. It's got great modulation. Here we go. Hello, one, two. Hello, one, two, three, four. Four, three, two, one. Getting a little bit of feedback because my speaker's right behind me. So I get my positioning right and it's okay. So anyway, there it is, the Model 242, back on the air. You get a lot of modulation there, right? So, it should do a fine job on six meters, guys. Real classic. Hope you enjoyed the video.